Hello, this is Joe and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be imaging M106. And yes, it is snowing on me. And no, it's not supposed to be snowing tonight. It is actually supposed to be clear. It's supposed to clear up about seven, eight o'clock tonight. And I'm going to start imaging. It's the second that the sky's clear and it's dark out. So I thought I'd come in out of the snow for a bit and talk to you about M106. It's an amazing galaxy. Um, it's one of my favorites and not only because it's amazing to photograph, but also because of the super massive black hole that's in the center of the galaxy. We can actually detect that it's there using radio waves and it's in the Canis Venatici constellation and it's about 22 million light years away from Earth. So it's, it's a really fun galaxy. It's one of my favorites to, to photograph. Uh, I've used my Z81 in the past to get a good image of it, but I wanted to try my native focal length of 2032 millimeters on my Edge HD8. Now I don't normally shoot that because that's at F10 and I need to double all of my exposure times just to start to get the same kind of level of detail I do when I have my reducer on. If you notice here, uh, I've got the just a T adapter and no reducer, and then I've put a special smaller adapter on my Celestron OAG, and from there back, it's pretty much all the same. During testing, I took some uh, images of M106 because it was just in a good spot in the sky for no other reason. But now I've got about three hours worth of data on it and I wanted to finish it off. I, I've got one clear night, it's been awful here, and I've got one clear night and I thought, oh, I've already got three hours, I can just get a night's worth of data and add it to it. Now it is snowing out and it, the weather swears it's going to be clear, so we'll see what happens. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna come back out tonight and I wanna do a quick polar alignment of the scope. We'll recalibrate the whole guiding system and then hopefully it'll stay clear all night and I won't have any snow and I'll get enough sub exposures. Hmm, it's supposed to be getting clear. Does it look clear yet? Still looks like it's snowing. Uh, well, the forecast says clear. Clear by seven. It's almost five. So I never would have believed it if I didn't see it for myself, but it's 10 minutes to seven. The snow has stopped and the sky has cleared. The sun's up and it's just getting ready to go down behind the mountains. And there's not a cloud in the sky. Well, not in the sky that I need anyway. It has cleared up tremendously well. I'm just waiting on it to get completely dark, but I think that there's enough, I could see some stars, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull our line. But just some really high wispy clouds. I'm not too worried about those, although they are kind of in the direction where I'm gonna be, where I'm gonna be uh, imaging at. So it's dark enough to probably do a polar alignment and then I'm going to move the scope over to zero degrees deck and I'm also going to try and get it to about three degrees off the meridian to the scope side uh, west and then we're going to slew to our target and start imaging. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up the roof. Roof's kind of frozen still a little bit. So I'm gonna be using the three-point polar alignment in Nita to get a good polar alignment. Uh, it's, yeah, it's still kind of light out, so I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but we'll give it a shot and see. 
Do its thing. I've got my table a little bit too close, and it's right in the way of the of the weight, the counterweight arm. So I have to keep closing my laptop as it runs around. I usually have it closed because I'm working remotely in the house. Um, so it's going to capture its first image. It's locked onto the first image. Now we're taking the second image and it should give us a reading here in a second we'll see how far off I am uh, I, I'm not expecting it to be extremely far off but it has been a little while since I did it and I just like to check it every three months or so it's taken its second image now it's working on the third one If I haven't mentioned in the past, I really love the way uh, you polar align this mount. The altitude and the azimuth adjustments are very fine uh, and, and just very easy to, to control. Uh, unlike the EQ6R with the coarse threads, this has very fine threads on the adjustments. So it's plate solving the last image now. And we are, we have a total of 2.13 seconds. So I am going to go ahead and adjust. The altitude's pretty much fine. Um, I just want to get down from 2.13 to probably 1 or 0. Um, so I'm going to move west just slightly. So I will adjust this. So I'm just going to give it a little more, another nudge. And that's about as tight as I can go before I have to loosen the other side. And I believe we're down, yeah, we're down to 30 seconds now. And the altitude is at one minute. And that's fine. I'm not going to really mess with the altitude. I don't care if I'm exactly at zero. Um, I think we're pretty good right here. And I'll just take that one minute and five seconds. I'm not really sure the altitude is actually held in with the with some set screws on either side of this mount so i'm not really sure how the altitude could have changed um, but it did apparently uh, at least the way it's reading at the moment so i think i'm good i'm gonna go ahead and stop this i'm happy with where it's at and then we're gonna move our scope over to zero degrees deck and three degrees off of the meridian to the west side and we're going to go ahead and do our phd calibration we're going to open up the commander and we're going to slew over we are not yeah it's close enough okay yeah let's clear this and go into the brain or the settings and guiding and we're going to tell it to clear the mount calibration say okay i'm going to change this to one and a half seconds so it goes faster and then i'm going to go ahead and turn this light off and unfortunately i'm gonna have to turn the light off because i want to make sure that i get a really nice calibration so I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, start. Oh, now it's not tracking. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And we'll calibrate real quick. I'm liking the numbers I'm seeing right now. And the, mostly that the R, I mean, we're down below 0.4 arc seconds, but the RA and the deck are very close to one another. They're almost exact, which is what gets you your round stars. And uh, yeah, we're, I like it.
Well, in my last video, I said how crazy the weather was around here, but I never seen anything like I did yesterday. It was full on snowstorm at five, six o'clock in the evening. And by seven o'clock, there was the clearest skies we've had here in, I don't know how long. I had a great night. I got a lot of fantastic data and uh, I hope to start processing that real soon. And then uh, I'll go ahead and stick a, an image up on the screen for you guys. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe as it really does help the channel. And we'll see you in the next video.